What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's time to dive into some new treats and pastries and for this video we are going to be trying a bunch of classic Halloween candy. Unfortunately I did not grow up trick-or-treating. I'm originally from Europe and it wasn't really a thing there so I never really got to enjoy classic Halloween candy. I have no idea what it's like but I like to live by the concept every day is a new chance and opportunity so here we are. I ordered a bunch of popular Halloween candy online and I'm about to bulldoze my way through it. This is my festive outfit for the video leather and orange. It's not gonna get much better than this. Let's go trick-or-treating. The first Halloween candy that we're gonna be trying are gummies in the shape of body parts. Now while we unbox this, let's say I've always enjoyed Halloween season. There's something about the spooky atmosphere, the coziness creeping in, and everyone kind of low-key just being excited for Christmas. Inside the back, the actual gummies are packed up in individual small plastics, perfect for trick-or-treating because the mom or whoever is at the door is gonna put them in a bowl and each child can have a body part. Perfect, a daydream, a core memory, mission accomplished. I actually love these little bags. There's small bats on them, they have black edges, this looks really good, not gonna lie. I cannot identify what this body part is supposed to be, so that's not the one I'm gonna try. Now I have to say, the smell is kind of like a very artificial fruity gummy. Here we have the nose. The contrast between the body part and the blood part is very harsh. It's a little extreme. It's low budget, it's gummy, it's candy. I didn't expect an extremely graphic, gory scene here. So, it's okay. Mmm. It's really good. Tastes very fruity. I'm gonna assume all of them taste the same, but this is great. The texture is a little hard. I feel like they added a lot of gelatin, but I would enjoy this as a child. I don't like gummy. I never have, but painting a picture of myself being a child that likes gummies, I would be looking forward to these all year long. Let's see if the red one tastes any different. No. The next Halloween candy that we're gonna be trying are Marshmallow Monsters. Now these are produced by a company called Peeps. Peeps is best known for these marshmallow chickens that they make for Easter. People love them, people go crazy for them, and they also make monsters, I think they also make ghosts, pumpkins, and all sorts of seasonal shapes. I remember I had the pumpkins once when I was younger and I loved them. Let's see if the monsters taste the same. So the first thing I'm noticing is they come in this cardboard baking tray and it's like one big cookie. They kind of morph together. The the shaping, it's not really shaping, it's literally like a rectangle and they put a little detail on there, it's a smiley face and some hair. This is obviously supposed to be Frankenstein, but they just call it a monster, probably Frankenstein is under copyright, so the look is a lot better in the packaging because it looks nice with the purple, but it's okay. It's the thought that counts, the concept is cute, and it's very temporary and seasonal. Look at that pull. We are breaking them up like amoebas. They are very squishy and I assume chewy. They are covered in granulated sugar and food coloring. I wanna pull one apart to see the fluff. You can see the fluff like this. There was not really like a cheesy pull, but whatever. Oh. Oh no. This is not even half as good as I remember. This tastes horrible. To be honest, they taste a little expired. I remember Peeps in general to be very squishy and moist and a little pulley and chewy and gooey. This is like a dried out sugar sponge that dissolves the moment it enters my mouth. The packaging states it's gluten-free and fat-free. This is literally a cube of sugar that you're giving your child to nibble on. Who cares about the fat? Next up, we are gonna be trying the most classic Halloween candy there is. We're gonna be trying candy corn and that pumpkin sugar thing. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Every company makes this. I got this one. It looked nice. I liked the plastic box. Let's rip it open. Oh, wow, sturdy. Here we have a classic candy corn. Believe it or not, I have never had candy corn before. Where I grew up, you don't get it anywhere. It's not a thing. So I have no idea what the texture, what the taste of this is like, but this is the OG classic Halloween candy for everyone out there who doesn't know. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Not what I expected at all. That dissolved pretty much instantly in my mouth, which, you know, gives away that it's nothing but sugar, but it tasted kind of caramelized, a little buttery. Good. I expected it to be a lot more chewy. I expected to spend a lot more time getting it down my throat, but okay, you do you. This thing has a lifetime of two seconds in my mouth. 
fun. I think I could enjoy two or three of these, but then I would be pretty aware of eating pure sugar. Now the other super classic candy is this pumpkin here. I don't know if it's the same as candy corn, we're about to find out, but there is surprisingly a lot of detail in this, like with the green top and the carving there, like this has more detail than the Frankenstein face. Mm. It tastes very similar. I don't know if it tastes more intense just because there is more of it and it's more solid because it's kind of like a unit. So the candy corn and that pumpkin mix, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Definitely worth trying and a great classic piece of candy. The next Halloween candy that we're gonna be trying are Halloween jelly beans. These are called Monster Mash and they're in all these Halloween colors. I love the look of this. I think the name Monster Mash is very cute. Let's open it up. Oh my God, they really look like beans. I don't remember the last time I had jelly beans. I feel like Jack and the Magic Beanstalk, but the Halloween colors that they picked are dark purple, normal purple, green, and orange. The orange, very good fit with my cap. Let's see what all the different flavors are like. That's orange. Orange is orange. Let's see what green is. Green, apple. Mm hmm light purple. Grape, 100% grapes. Dark purple. I don't know, I don't care. But they're all good. I remember from Jelly Beans, what I enjoyed so much is the crunchy outside and the chewy inside. These are great. I would say if it's the middle of October and I give my child a handful of these and a cute scary movie, I'm succeeding as a parent. We made it to the last Halloween candy that we're gonna be trying for this video. Believe it or not, I actually don't like candy. So none of this really pushes a button, but I do have a weakness for sugar, so I'm pushing through. The last candy is Halloween lollipops. Now these look cool. They're coming out of the haunted house like the Ghostbusters. It's a whole scene. Again, individually wrapped, perfect for trick or treating, and they come in the shape of a bat, a Halloween pumpkin, a ghost, and Frankenstein again. Now, funny enough, this Frankenstein has a scar, and this one does not, so I don't know what happened there. This one probably got out of the haunted house first. I assume they all taste the same. Let's dive right in. Mmm, orange, that's enough. Since the orange pumpkin tastes Orange, I actually think that Frankenstein is gonna taste like apple. The ghost is probably just gonna be sugar, and I don't know what the bat is gonna be. I don't really care for the bat. I don't like bats. With that being said, we have made it to the end of this video. Please let me know about your favorite Halloween candies down below. Have you tried any of these? These are popular, but you know, I feel like everyone hands out the candy that they like best. I also read that a lot of people just hand out chocolate bars, I guess, to each their own. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you think of any other viral snacks, treats, pastries, candies, anything that you would like me to get and try for the very first time together here with you guys on camera, I will get my hands on them somehow and make it work. Until then, see you soon and take care. Bye.